What's up? Jimmy here, long time no see guys. It's been a crazy couple of months. That's the reason why I haven't been making a lot of videos. I went through a giant journey and I've learned so much so that I can bring this all to you, my favorite people in the whole world. I recently went through a job interview process. I graduated school, so of course I'm looking for a job. And so I wanna talk to you guys, I wanna, I, I, I'll, that's what I want to talk to you guys about today. I want to tell you what I did in order to land that job and I want you guys to get that job you always wanted. There's two things. There's two things that I want to recommend to you guys and it's not like, oh, make your portfolio great and it's not like, um, make sure to do all these tips when you go into the interview. That's all stupid. I'm just kidding, they're not stupid. But the two things I want to tell you guys is, number one, never need it. Never be needy and desperate. That's a number one. And the best way to do this is to already have plan B's. You see, I already had a current job while I was going to school and it was a good job and I could stay there for a couple more years until I find something else. But instead of just being comfy, sitting back and working at this job, what I wanted to do was just see what else is out there. When you do this, when you're in that position where you don't necessarily need the job, you you just kind of have fun. You kind of go into it. There's not too much pressure when it comes to going into these job interviews saying, oh, please, please, please hire me. Because you know what? That's what 90% of most people do. And that's what I want to talk about with number two. Number two is frame of mind. This is something that I've honestly been working on for the past couple months now and it's really increased my level from like zero, well, not zero obviously, I wasn't at zero, but from a hundred to a million, like for real, it's blown my mind and I want to tell you guys all about it. Frame of mind is so important just because it really is how you view the situation and then how you come off in that situation. This is the frame of mind that 90% of most people take. Uh, please, can you hire me? Can you please give me this job? And I really hope that you like me and just pay me whatever you want because I'm just so happy to get this job and to be working for you. That is the mindset that most people take and so, how does this come off? When you walk into that interview, you 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 kind of have like a more subtleness to you. You're probably more t shy and timid and people pick up on that. Like for real, like 100% people pick up on that stuff and you know what they do? They judge you on the type of person that you are. And you don't want to be this weak, meek, little person that is desperate and needy for this job because the, 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 the interviewer can see that and they're going to see that you're just a, a timid person that they're gonna need to build up. Now, what the kind of frame of mind you wanna take is, is the unneedy, non-desperate, and, and not only that, but you know the type of skill that you have. You know what you have that you can bring to the table. And if you've watched all of these industrial design videos that I've created, and grew as an industrial designer, you have you should have the confidence and the skill to be able to do so. If you haven't, of course, there is a giant library of videos for you guys to watch, which I highly recommend. When you go into the job interview with a high value frame of mind. Now, what is a high value frame of mind? A high value frame of mind is walking into the job interview and not just wanting this job, but seeing if that job is right for you and if you are right for that job. And if you take that kind of frame of mind, you're not gonna feel pressure. You're not gonna feel like you need to impress anybody. You're just gonna be the type of person that you are. And this comes off in a very like natural, primal kind of feeling where your employer is gonna know exactly what they're dealing against. You look them in the eye, you tell them what you've done in the past and you do it with confidence. And you know what, it's okay if they don't like you. You just say, you know what, it's all good. It, it, it doesn't seem like we're a right match and, um, and, and we can walk away. In the job interview, they, the people didn't necessarily know what industrial design was but they knew that they had a couple things that they needed to accomplish. And when they told me those things that they needed to get done, I immediately knew that that was an industrial design position. And I told them, this is what I said. I said, 
it seems like you guys honestly really need an industrial designer because industrial designers, we're trained to do all of these things that you guys are looking for and I have the skills to do it. But for some reason, it's not me. I honestly would recommend and I know a lot of industrial designers who can do this job really well. That's what I told them. That's what I said. But of course, I didn't say that all stupid. Like, like I knew that they already liked me at the time and that they were that they were going to hire me. You know what I'm saying? I was like 90 percent sure. But I threw that out there just to tell them it kind of just shows that you know what it's okay I'm not I don't need this job I'm not this needy person that's trying to lie to you that's trying to build myself up I was just telling them this is what I can do I've done all this stuff before and if it's not me for some reason if you guys don't like me this position is an industrial design position and I could help you guys out with it this tells the employer a lot a lot it shows the type of value person that you are the power that you have the confidence that you have Boom, and then you're gonna guys gonna get the job. I don't want this to go too long, but I want to make more of these even though the set is super bad and crappy, but I just gotta do it to get back into swing of things. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that like button, and I really am glad to be back. Leave all the comments down below uh, telling me how much you guys missed me and how much more you guys want to watch. So anyways guys, I will catch you in the next video soon. Peace.